You know, I'm glad we got that cooking deal over with yesterday. Didn't get in till late last night. And we got mail and we didn't get no bills, so that is truly a blessing in the modern world that we live in today. So. But I'm glad it's 4th of July. We ain't cooking for nobody but us today. And it ain't gonna be much. Let's see what we got here. Dear Mr. Rollins, my name is Jacob. I recently graduated from basic training for the United States Navy. And I'll soon begin the second phase of my training for my rate. I've watched many of your appearances on the Food Network. The night before I entered basic training, I stayed up until midnight to watch Chop Grill Masters. Looking back on it now, that decision was poorly made as I wouldn't be able to sleep until two days later. But I was happy to see one of my favorite chefs take on the competition one last time before I had to leave. In all of your appearances, I noticed that you seemed like a genuinely good, kind-hearted person, and I want to thank you for that. Even if you, if you lose, you still keep your head up and you have an I'll do better next time attitude. Most of all, you never complain or say how unfair the judgment was. If I ever find myself questioning why, what, and who I signed away six years of my life for, I remember all the people that I've met or seen in my life that I believe are kind, friendly, and good folks. In just over a month, I will leave the United States of America to begin my first deployment. I wanted to thank you for reminding me why I made this decision and for making CHOP more entertaining. Sincerely, Jacob. Well, Jacob, I don't know you, brother, but I thank you. And on this 4th of July day, I thank all those who have served our country. You know, this is a land of the free and the home of the brave. And as long as we still have people out there who do this, this will always be the land of the free and the home of the brave. Oh, glory, they're sitting in the, in the breeze back here. That's something we stand and recognize. You know, I've been around patriotic folks all my life, and I'll tell you some of them, some of the best ones I've known have been cowboys. Always took their hat off when we seen old glory go by. We always stood at attention. Every grand entry I was ever at is a rodeo. When old glory come in the arena, everybody stopped. They paid homage. You know, we live in a great nation. There's been a lot of great sacrifices made by those people, those veterans, the people that fought to keep our borders safe here and abroad both. And I am truly grateful for those people. You know, them and cowboys are a whole lot alike. Both are stewards, keepers keep things safe. Just like an old cowboy out there in 300,000 acres, he has a job to do. He has something to patrol, something to take care of. They're both stewards. They both keep the land safe. They take care of their environment and what's around them. My hat's off to these people, I guarantee you. Across the waters or in the pastures or places that GPS can't even find, I salute you all. And to old glory, I say thank you. And God bless America for this great place we live.